Skip Fragrance back again with another fragrance review video, guys. Welcome, welcome back to the individual series, episode three. Today, we're gonna be exploring the house of Biddy K Perfumes. It is a house I lately discovered, late this 2020, through sampling uh, with Crystal Fragrances. As you guys know, I love buying from Crystal because it allows me to sample other fragrances that lead to other things. And so, and now have become uh, bottle purchases. Now, these specific individual series purchases are fragrances that have moved me in a way that maybe perhaps others haven't. As you guys know from the last two videos, any fragrance that makes it into this category goes through, you know, five points that I've given myself as guidance uh, for the eventual purchase of the fragrance. Those five points are, you know, complement getting factor of the fragrance that I'm purchasing. Number two, does it have sex appeal? You know, it has to be sexy and sensual and confidence uh, making type of a fragrance. Number three, it can be worn for 24 hours. You're going to love getting wafts of this fragrance uh, all day long throughout the daily wear of the fragrance. And so it must perform. Uh, with, uh, uh, with point number four, it has to elevate my mood. I have to feel confident. I have to feel comfortable wearing this fragrance. I have to know that with point number five, it has to have a mass appeal factor because I'm not the only one that's going to enjoy wearing this fragrance and so others around me might even want to get closer to me as I'm wearing this fragrance maybe knowingly maybe not but they're going to enjoy and even remember me by the scent that I'm carrying perhaps even that day I might make this a signature fragrance uh, for the whole season uh, as I did with flashback by olfactive studios on episode one all right let's get into the fragrance Okay guys, so the fragrance that we're talking about today from the house of BDK is Grease Chanel, guys. Look at the fragrance. This fragrance is a beauty. I love the presentation very much. I enjoy the juice in here. Look at the darkness, ambery color. To me, this is very masculine in terms of color. Obviously, this is a, uh, a very unisex fragrance. Um, this fragrance was launched in 2019 and the perfumer for this fragrance is Matilda Bijao. Uh, Matilda uh, did an amazing job with this fragrance. It's packed full of naturals in here. I'm sure there's some synthetics in here, but that's not a bad thing, guys, in this case. I think the, um, the quality of the materials that went into making this fragrance is super, super high. Uh, and I think even better for the price point given. I think these retail for about $180. I got mine through um, Crystal Fragrances. I obviously sampled uh, it first for a few weeks and then it, it moved me to, to purchase the fragrance. At the top, you're going to have fig, black tea, and cardamom. At the heart, you're going to have iris, bourbon, vetiver. At the base, you're going to have Indian sandalwood and tonka bean. These are just notes to be guided by, but I think if you experience this uh, this fragrance, and I'm just going to spray it here, just because I love when it hits my skin, guys. If a fragrance, you know, a fragrance smells a certain way when you put it on paper, but ultimately what's going to guide you to purchase this fragrance is when it, you know, it works on your skin. And so in my, on my skin, this, uh, this, types of this type of fragrance elevates really quickly. And I love the fig and the black tea and the cardamom. I think the cardamom plays a balancer role at the top. It doesn't let the fig get too sweet or the black tea get too deep, but it does speak for the fragrance at the beginning of the development. I think it is a very, very interesting opening. I have tried other fig base fragrances, but nothing like this, guys. This is um, this is a very beautiful, beautiful opening to this fragrance. And I think both women and guys are going to love it as soon as it jumps out of your skin. 
this fragrance is very very sexy it has that depth into it it has that i don't know interesting factor uh for uh for whoever wears it i think you have to have a kind of that you know it, there are more layers to you there's a personality to uh this fragrance and i think you as the wearer uh have to uh let that also uh make an impact on you at the heart of this fragrance you're going to enjoy the better bird. The better bird here is stellar and stunning. And it's a really, really, I think what steals the show here along with the iris, the Indian sandalwood and the tonka bean just add um, that woody, uh, musky, sweet um, type of, although musk is not listed here. Um, I think it just adds the, you know, it has a really good, good base to the fragrance. I think it leans, this fragrance leans more to be, to me, to the masculine side, but that's because I'm wearing it. I think a woman can wear it. Uh, overall, this fragrance is a leather-based fragrance. And if you take away anything from this video at all, is that this fragrance is a leather-based fragrance, which is great for the autumn and winter. Just like Old Factor Studio uh, Flashback in New York, it has that better ver, the boozy better ver, and the leather iris notes that are in here that make part of this fragrance. I think you can't go wrong with the vetiver here. I think that's why I love vetiver so much. It's so grounded. It's so solid. Um, it's so deep uh, along with the other notes that this is composed with that um, it, it moved me. It moved me to purchase the fragrance um, and have it uh, as part of my collection. I think if you're uh, exploring the house of BDK. Uh, you do yourself justice by sampling first this fragrance and then uh, perhaps this could even be uh, your first purchase from that lineup uh, of their fragrances. There are other hits. I have other fragrances. I have bought other uh, BDK uh, purchases. I'm, I'm looking at two others right now but this one was my first one out of the house and I smelled another one before this one. I'll get to that one later. This one just swept me away guys i fell in love with it i know that when it hits your skin it's going to do the same guys i think this fragrance is a good it's a good buy in terms of elevating your mood making you feel confident it does have those elements that i know you're going to enjoy thank you guys for watching please remember to hit the like button always subscribe so you can be notified when i make these videos and um I'll have an episode four coming right up for you guys. So I want you to be alerted first. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next individual series video. Take care. Bye.